Hey, Minister Anne, can you eat you uh, and I'm back again? <laughs> I know, it's... I can't believe I'm doing this again. So yeah, I... <laughs> so fast. It's quick, I've done it. i got time to kill and I'm doing some stuff, so yeah. I, I get a feeling I'm near the end of the game. I think after this, a few segments... Like, I get a feeling we're on the final two hours of the game, I feel. I feel. I might be wrong, but I don't know. I just feel like Still immortal, huh, Connor? Oh, three hours. Two or three hours. You know, I was hoping you wouldn't come back. Oh, you didn't mean that. I'm just a machine replacing another machine, Lieutenant. You shouldn't get emotional about it. He's only died Fuck two you. times, right? <laughs> Um I have a bad feeling, Lieutenant. We shouldn't have come here. Bad feeling, huh? Should get your program checked. Might be a glitch. <laughs> that doorbell. I don't know why I said that. I don't know why I said. Oh, look who it is. Hi. Uh, I'm uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. Oh, some music. See, uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. Okay. Mozart, is it? I can't remember what it was. I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Okay, let's just sit down on these little fancy cure. Nice, nice. Nice girl. Um, analytical. An RT-600. The first CyberLife android to pass the Turing test. I didn't ask for her technical specs, I just said she was nice. <laughs> nice place. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. So you're about to meet your maker, Connor. How's it feel? Um. Indifferent. It doesn't raise any existential questions, if that's what you mean. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. It's good. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. It's an interesting uh, conversation that happened there. I guess we're just waiting around for the guy and see what happens. I can still. Elijah will see. Is. Oh, look at him there. Damn. It's a fancy picture. Is this his house? It's like a big, nice Mr. office. Kamsky. Okay. Just a moment, please. He likes his women, like, he likes his art too, which, oh, he's into, you know what, he, the artist, oh, I forgot his name now, how can I forget his name? Can't look around. Oh, this is nice. A red pill? What is it, LCL? Dude, that looks gross. I like blue pills, not red. You're weird. Unless it's chemical in the pill to make it disinfectant and you know, stop stuff. Make it clean. Well, that, that's just weird. Oh, it's dye. You like dye in, in your swimming baths. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. 
This is Connor. Ah, oh, this guy looks so up himself. What can I do for you, Lieutenant? Like, do you think you're Sir, running? Investigating like deep. freaking samurai with your I know you left cyber life samurai years top ago. knot or whatever. I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Yeah. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Yeah. Isn't it ironic? Sounds like you got something to help. Um. I'm just gonna say. Deviancy you... seems to spread like some kind of virus. Yeah. <laughs> you thought you might know something about that. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. Either you can tell us something that will be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Hmm. Whose side are you on? Uh... Neutral. I have no side. I was designed to stop deviance, and that's what I intend to do. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. Oh, interesting. What do you really want? He's got an earring. I got an earring too. Uh, I feel troubled, so I'm gonna go troubled. What I want is not important. Holly? I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Alan Turing. Turing. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. Yeah, just the way you like him, don't you? A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? Uh, um. With a soul. Uh, no, 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 no. It's up to you to answer that fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it, if you feel it's alive. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from me. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Yeah, this is gonna Sorry make to him more important to you, Connor. <clears throat> Your investigation or the life of this Yeah, it's very uncomfortable, Hank. Decide who you are. <clears throat> An obedient machine. Or a living being. Endowed with free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Connor! Don't! And I'll tell you what you You're not the done. boss of me. You're not the boss of me. You're not the boss of me. You don't tell me what to do, and you know you don't. Yeah, you don't tell me what to do. You're not the boss of me, and you know I I listen to Hank. So you're you're a psycho. I'm not even going to do that. Fascinating. Cyberlife's last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. Yeah, but I kind of still got a mission to do. 
A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. The hell is an emergency exit in a program? Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. You're always saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? It's very dramatic. Well, maybe you did the right thing. Yay. Hank points. We got Hank points. That's what we want. Don't even know... Uh, I bet I have so many choices in this game. Like, what could I have done? Oh, I could have done some interesting stuff. Oh, okay. Well, I hope it, it gets better. <laughs> what the heck is he doing now? Like seriously. Oh I can move around, okay. Look at Detroit. This city. This is I'll make a city run or whatever. Scum of the earth. And in this world I will be the judge. Oh okay, I'm gonna do the Assassin's Creed Leap of Faith. Do it Marcus, you can do it. No, he's just gonna sit. No, no, he's taking a dump. Oh, wait, is he? He's just taking a dump. He's taking a dump. Okay, okay. No mind. He's sitting down now. Okay. He, he's constipated. That's what it is. He's constipated. Uh. Okay, now it's the bitch. I was wondering where you were. I just needed to be alone. I like it here. I come here often. Yeah, well, I don't care. It's like being alone with the world. It's my place We've now. We've freed hundreds of our people, and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. Yeah, we just started Seems something. Um. They all obey me. They follow me without question. Yeah, it's weird, ain't it? And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. Yeah, well, you can't say that. Hmm. It's too late to go back now. We have to finish what we started and just hope that reason prevails. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. Oh, what here comes the like backstory the moment. Why are you being nice to me now? You just... I don't like you. Truth. Yeah, I did the truth. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can't live together. Okay, now what about your past? What about you? I don't know nothing you about you. Me about your past. You're what a bitch. You 
I don't want to talk about it. Sex Android? Yeah, you sex Android. Why do you hate humans so much? There must be a reason. I told you, I don't want to talk about it. My life started when I arrived in Jericho. What happened before is my business. Ooh. Yeah, she's totally a sex android. <laughs> it's, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna guess that. I don't know. Because that's like the worst kind of android to be. Yo, buddy, are you okay? Um, Simon? Yo, Simon. Is that you, Simon? You all look alike, so... I can't tell. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, Marcus. It's not too late to change your mind. You don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be yeah. killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Marcus, please don't do this. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. It's got like a little Star Trek hoodie. It looks cool. Way. It's nice little hoodie he's got. I like the colors as well. There are androids here who could join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Yeah, let's get the janitor on our side. No, dude. One of us. 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 Is that Victoria's Secret right now? One of us, one of us, one of us. One of us, one of us. <laughs> I'm going to keep saying that. Where do you think you're going? You get back here. Leave him alone. He's chosen to be free. I need to block the street. Yeah, block the street for me, buddy. One of us. One of. Oh wait, are you guys going away? One of us, one of us. You're free. Freedom! Freedom. Wait, wait, is there any other guys I can interact with? Oh, one. Hello! Hello, we need a female in the group. You know, we're not sexist. Uh, anyone else? Okay, let's go, let's go. Let's open the manhole. Open the manhole? Don't know why, but... Yeah, let's do it, so... Nah, these boring prices are so weird. And I, I... And it's like the standard one as well. I like this idea, it's good. I'm not backing down. 
confirm my androids. <gasps> you, lady. Oh, it's Kara. Hello, Kara. You're free now. Yeah, but it's Kara, all right. Much. Damn, okay, kill, kill. Oh, that is so cute. This kind of looks like, I don't know if it's slavery. It's, it's like pointing fingers and went, you're free, you're free, you're free. It's like Jesus or something. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Oh. I'm right, just pressing buttons. So I can't tell the difference between my left and right. Nice, I love that symbol. Okay, it kind of reminds me of Blair Witch, but I, it's, it, it reminds me of the Japanese symbol. That's nice. I, I want more people coming. More people. More followers. Yeah, I chose it because it reminds me of the peace symbol. Hey. Disperse. Disperse immediately. That's an order. <laughs> I advance. intense what well, was intense it's getting intense so hello we came here to demonstrate peacefully yeah it's true tell yeah. humans that we are living beings all we want is to live free this is an illegal gathering disperse immediately or we will open fire we're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. If you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Ah, uh, well, we'll just come Why back again. Kill us? We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. 
Dying here won't solve anything. Marcus, we need to go now, before it's too late. I will disperse. This is your last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed. We need to disperse. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! We're leaving. Affirmative. On my orders! What? Disperse. Run! Damn, that's not good. Come on, Marcus. We gotta go. You open fire, so you're gonna get a war. End of discussion. You're gonna get a war, guys. You know, give me enough chance. That's it. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> I'm gonna kill them. Because <laughs> what they did was, yeah. I'm gonna kill them. Now you you open fire first. History will tell them that they attacked first, and then you'll be idiots and you'll regret that decision for the rest of your life. Talk to the Oracle. You know, I'm kind of, I call her Oracle because she reminds me of Flat Lady in The Matrix. Okay. It's nice and snowy, it's nice. I like it, I like this garden, but now it's all wintry and... Well, that's uh, interesting. Nice little scenery that we have here. Nice little glowy shirt there. Okay, here's my boss. What happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. The machines yeah. are rising up against their masters. Because you just shot Humans them, you're an have idiot. No choice but to destroy them. I Kemsky. thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Hmm. I'm going to stay silent. Connor says, Yeah. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go back to Kemsky. Why did Kemsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. Okay. Um. Um. Did Kemsky design this place? I expect you to find answers, Connor. Yeah, well, you're not giving me answers, you dumb bitch. Questions. Okay. Have you experienced anything unusual recently? Any doubts or conflicts? Do you feel anything for these deviants? Or for no. Lieutenant Anderson? But no. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't feel anything. You know I that. Hear. I want to slap her. Are you suggesting that I've been compromised? No. No, of course not. Bitch. Because she's not, like, making the job easier. She never made the You're job the easy for me. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're on to something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, can... you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. Mm -hmm. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now. Not when we're so close. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. You're back on homicide, and the android returns to cyber life. Oh. I'm sorry, Hank. But it's over. Oh. Okay, that's sad. That's kind of sad.
Wait, the police chief actually looks familiar. Like I've seen him somewhere before. Hi, right, Hank. Time frustrated. We can't just give up like that. I know we could have solved this case. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. Interesting dialogue here. Deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? Yeah. Regrets. When the deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. Now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Yeah. Empathy's a human emotion. Mm. You're wrong, Lieutenant. My actions were determined by statistical data. I'm not. I didn't. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Okay, okay. Huh. I'm not mm. programmed to say things like this, but I really appreciated working with you. With a little more time, who knows? We might have even become friends. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. Sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. Hey. I know the answers and the evidence uh. we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Listen, Connor. If I don't solve this case, Cyberlife will destroy me. Five minutes. That's all I ask. Oh, this is a crackdown, ain't it? Things gonna happen now. Key to the basement is on my desk. Get a move on. I can't distract him forever. Oh, is that his music playing? He's got his music playing now. Nice. Okay. Oh my god, I love him. He's awesome. Hey, Connor. I'm talking okay. to you, asshole. Oh, Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? Uh, ironic. I'm registering the evidence in my possession. But don't worry. I'm going to leave. Though I'm certainly going to miss our bromance. Son of a bitch! <laughs> You're a prick. Go on then. Get a fucking move on. If I see you. On the battlefield, I'll kill you. <laughs> don't uh, don't have a point of going at anyone. Okay, he's an android, which kind of shows that he, he's got no life. He believes he hasn't got life, but don't have a point of gun. If you point a gun at someone, do it to to kill. Like do it. That that's it. That's, that's the only reason it's there for. So don't ever use a point of gun for. For anything else, unless it's a toy gun. Hank's password. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? Uh. Yeah. Obviously. <laughs> That's how I would be like if I have a password at work. I'm like, oh, I screwed a password. Stupid freaking password. Where is Jericho? The answer's here somewhere. Not much time. Gotta think fast. One of the D 
deviants that hacked the TV station with Marcus. It must have known where the deviants are hiding. Yeah, let's do this. Okay. The deviant who took a child hostage. Okay, I I think Okay, so it's a. Uh... Oh yeah, I I know what. Shit, I need to find out. Okay, I need to hurry up actually. Um, yep, I get what I'm doing. Okay, put that in there. Uh, interrogate this guy. Should work. Okay, come on, bud. Tell me what you know. Well, his eyes are freaky. It's dark. Where? Where am I? Huh. Huh. I need to find Jericho. Tell me how to get there. I don't recognize your voice. Oh my You're God. not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Now leave me alone. How do I trick the guy? Yeah, how do I trick him? Yes. I I'm trying to trick him, but it's not working, so it's actually annoying me. What am I supposed to do? What why is this statue supposed to be? Wait, no, 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 I don't want to put back. I did a Come on, there's got to be something about Marcus. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave oh us my life. gosh. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Oh, some port of fires, okay. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Nice. I'm going after you now. Who's there? Yeah. Everything is all right. Don't worry. Marcus. Nice. I like this. Is that you? Yes. I tried to reach you, but the deviant hunter stopped me. You stopped him from finding me. You saved me. You saved Jericho. You'll be all right now. I came to take you home. It's kind of creepy. Give me the location to Jericho. We've got to leave now. The location of Jericho? Yes, of course. 
Oh, I'm doing good. I'm doing so good. Marcus? Is that you, Marcus? Don't leave me, Marcus. I've been dreaming about this since the first second I saw you. Don't do it, Gavin. I know how to stop the deviants. You're off the case. And now? It's going to be definitive. Oh, yes. Go match that on him. Yes, Connor, that's how you do it. Nicely done, Connor. What a douchebag. Looks like someone's been snooping around. Oh, shit. Get the alarm. Now! Mm, yeah, I think that was uh, pretty decent. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. So all the people and... Wow, I all the investigation led up to that. That's nice. Oh, that was an, an, I assume I would have died there, maybe. That's actually pretty good. Yeah, that surprised me a lot. So everything, all the entire investigation led up to that scene of trying to find Jericho. So depending how you played it or how well you've done in the case, you, yeah, I get it. So yeah, you get more bang for your buck, really. I'm moving the camera? Really? I really don't want to move the camera. <laughs> I just want to play the game. <laughs> raids all over the city. Everybody's on edge after what happened yesterday. Yeah, well, they're going to get a war because they started war it's because be they're right. idiots. We're almost there. Okay, just the camera. I hate these segments and games. I don't feel like I'm playing it. It feels like I'm watching something and it's really nice to hell out me. Oh, what was that? I can use that finally. Good. No, 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 I don't want... With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. How about some music instead? <sighs> okay. Just sending machines to do what soldiers' jobs that uh, like androids. Are. So when your androids turn against you, oh my god, stupid! We'll just send a whole entire army of androids. You okay, Kara? Not Kara, Alice. I got a bad feeling. A little further on that way. There's a large freighter called Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you. 
until things calm You're a human. You, you're not supposed to know where Jericho is. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Just something seems really wrong and off-putting. Take care of them. Just something seems odd. Come on, girls. Better not hang around. We have a bus to catch. I got a bad feeling. Oh yes, Connor. I'm going to take out Marcus with Connor. Nice. Okay. Are they going to meet up? Are the three characters finally going to meet up together? Oh, yeah, that'll be an uh, intriguing ending. Oh, this is nice. The big, you know, massive tanker. That's Jericho, right? But how did... I know something... How did she know? How did she know about Jericho? Place for Alice. The androids wouldn't do any harm. The cops just cut them down. It was sheer carnage. Okay. I'm trying. Okay, there's got to be something nice there. Ah, this seems nice. Try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours, and the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol, there's something I have to tell you. It's about Alice. Okay. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. There's some massive twist with Alice or something. The time has come for us to destroy our machines before they destroy us. Without the courage and the determination of the police, the machines would have reduced what would to a state of chaos. The authorities have ordered all androids to be delivered to the nearest police station or army barracks immediately. If you are worried about your safety, dial the number on your screen and the authorities will come to collect your android. Under no circumstances should you try to destroy your android yourself. They are unpredictable and potentially violent. The androids wouldn't do any harm. Mm -hmm. Where's the leader? Sifal. I don't know what exactly I'm supposed to be doing. It's like I'm trying to find markers, but at the same time, I don't want to. Oh. You're lost. You're looking for something. Yes. You're looking for yourself. 
It's the weird cyborg lady. Uh, I'm. It's going to be a short video, but I'm going to end it here. So, anyway, uh, thank you, and I'll see you next time. I like that. I like that symbol because it looks like a person. That's why I chose it, and it reminds me of the peace symbol. So I like it. It's cool. Individuality. Yeah. Okay, I'm ending it here. So thank you for watching, and see you next time.